Governments have now set the precedent that normal life is a privilege they allow us to have. Something that can be withdrawn at any minute, under any justification, with the expectation of nothing in return but grovelling obedience and the vitriolic repudiation of any dissent. With barely a whimper of opposition, lockdowns have now been established as the primary, reasonable go-to response to a crisis. This isn't going to end with COVID-19. There'll be new mutations, new viruses. But you'll also hear louder calls for climate lockdowns. Remember the headlines back during the first lockdown? Lockdowns trigger dramatic fall in global carbon emissions. Wild animals enjoy freedom of a quieter world. Nature liberated by lockdown? Who wouldn't stay at home for a few weeks to save the planet? Then a few weeks turns into a few months. But it's for Mother Earth! Climate change alarmists have been calling for this very thing for decades. But mostly they've been ignored until now. Karl Lauterbach, an MP for the German Social Democratic Party, outlined the plan. A German lawmaker has got a furious reaction for suggesting COVID restrictions could be the template for fighting climate change. There will never be a vaccine against CO2, so we need measures for tackling climate change that are similar to the restrictions of personal freedom in the pandemic. Under a climate lockdown, governments would limit private vehicle use, ban consumption of red meat, and impose extreme energy-saving measures while fossil fuel companies would have to stop drilling. To avoid such a scenario, we must overhaul our economic structures and do capitalism differently. Do capitalism differently, precisely what the World Economic Forum is calling for under the umbrella of the Great Reset. By doing it differently, they mean you own nothing and they own everything. While Bill Gates is buying up record amounts of farmland, you're being told that the dream of property ownership is an ancient relic. Over the course of the pandemic, billionaires have almost doubled their wealth. As their competitors fall like flies, the biggest corporations have raked in record profits. While on Main Street, small businesses have capitulated, unemployment has soared, and poverty has drastically increased. Wow, this Great Reset is really working out great for the little guy. Doing it differently means universal basic income. UBI. It means neo-feudalism. It means financial serfdom. And most people will learn to love it. Most of them will be happy to get paid by the government to sit on their arses getting fat watching Netflix all day. But it comes at a cost. And that cost is the complete abolition of self-determination and total dependence on technocrats. Emissions fell during lockdown. Let's keep it that way. Stay home. Stay staring at your screen. The technocrats are in control now. After all, you lost several social credit score points recently thanks to those angry Facebook posts. You really don't want to put your UBI at risk, do you? People like John Kerry need to fly around the world in private jets to decide your future. But do you really need to drive to see your family? Do you really need to take that holiday? How would governors and the federal government impose climate lockdowns, asks Stephen Miller. Simple. By declaring that climate change is an immediate public health and national security crisis and using the same authority granted to them by public health departments to implement them under the same guidelines they did for COVID-19. Bernie Sanders and AOC announced a bill suggesting as much yesterday. Those who refuse to comply, those who protest, those who God forbid drive a vehicle during climate lockdown. Well, they're the science deniers and they need to be shut down. They need to be publicly shamed, deplatformed and arrested. This was always the risk with the mass implementation of lockdowns. Once your leaders enforce one under the guise of public health, they will not simply set aside their power to do so again. Don't worry though. They're just following the science. This is the new normal our passive obedience helped create. We'd be naive to think that the technocrats will allow us to forget it.